Hmm? The boss has given me a message for you. Says there's some sort of nasty demon running around in the Aldina Plains, to the east of Logris. She thought it might be the one you're looking for. Wasn't the Eastern Highway closed off from Logris? That was only temporary. It's back open now. If you follow the road, you'll reach Stonebury Village. You want to know more? That'd be a good place to start. Got it. Hey, that's the same direction I sent the... Give Tabitha our thanks. more and more like we're on the right track. We ought to go check out that Bloodwing story. Then let's start by going to Stonebury. Hey, Aizen, did I say something wrong back there? No. I just didn't think we needed to give the Bloodwings any information for free. Huh? He means the Earth Pulse points, kid. We're the only ones who know about them. But aren't we on the same side as the Bloodwings? We're not enemies with them. But I wouldn't go so far as to call them our friends, either. That's just how it goes in the underworld. Things can change at the drop of a hat. A poison hat. But how are they supposed to trust us if we don't show them trust in kind? That messenger knew our faces, even though we'd never met. You're right! We hardly know the first thing about them, and yet they seem to know every move we make. They could easily sell us out if it struck their fancy. They'll work with us as long as we're a useful ally in their resistance against the Abbey. We've got each other's back. But only as long as we hold a knife up our sleeve. That's what counts as trust in the Underworld. That sounds terrible. But at least you can trust that Tabitha's cooking will be tasty. <laughs> Can't argue that. to it. Used to what? Your powers. I think I finally got a handle on them in a way that feels right. That's good. Hopefully you won't faint anymore. Yeah. And I'll keep learning too. I hope we can make this work out. Yeah, definitely. Fingers crossed. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Hey! When you and Eleanor made your pact together, she gave you a true name, right? Was it a good one? Uh... True name? What's that? 
It's a special name in the ancient tongue given to a Moloch as a necessary step in forming a pact with a human. I gave Bienfu the name Fushi Cass. It means thing. <laughs> That's pretty messed up. It's just my own little way of showing affection. So what kind of name did you get, Luffy said? I... Uh... What's the matter? She didn't give you a really weird name like Mogulu gave Bienfu, did she? If you're not happy with it, I can talk to Eleanor about it later. So go on and tell me... I'm fine with it. And I can't tell you anyway. Well, you don't have to get so worked up about it. A true name is not something a Moloch just casually divulges to others. They carry a special meaning to us. Speaking it to anyone other than our Pact Keeper carries a special meaning. Between comrades, it means we trust them with our lives. In other cases, it's... Practically a confession of love! You could have said something sooner, you know. Lafayette sits at a delicate age. You should be more careful in the future. Oh, really? It's just another way of showing affection. be the demon Tabitha wanted us to know about. It's flying free, but could it still be a Therian? I just felt an Earth Pulse point. It's that way, somewhere near the top of that mountain. Let's check it out. I need to 
be careful not to misuse my power. Feel the earth pulse now. It's up above. Guess we're in for some mountain climbing then. No barrier. I must have gotten it wrong again. I wouldn't be so sure of that. That dragon could well have broken its barrier. Or it might have been too powerful for the Abbey to subdue. You could be right. After all, dragons make for the strongest demons. The problem is, we don't know if it's a Therian or not. Yeah. Let's stick with the plan and head to Stonebury to gather more information. Only one here who thinks the real problem is how we're supposed to fight a frickin' dragon?
If I were a Bloodwing, where would I be? We'll start at the inn. It only makes sense. You need sundry. Savid. Well, hello, sailor. <sighs> Are you waiting for someone? Nope. Just saying a prayer for someone. Someone? Let's go. Clearly, there aren't any blood wings here. And she's going to leave? I'm right here! Everybody has times they need to be alone. Fee. Right. Coming. What do you think he was praying about? Well, for one thing, he was drinking a bottle of Thorny Forest. Oh my! The drink you share with your special someone when you're going to be married for life! How romantic! But getting your hands on that stuff is no small feat. That must have had an important meaning for Savid. That's why you left him alone. Don't read too much into it. You're Velvet, right? Huh, you must be the one who's seen the demon we're after. We saw a big snake-looking dragon fly over on the way here. Is that what you saw too? Yes, that's the one. It nests at the top of the mountain in Aldina Plains. We went to look ourselves. No dragon. It only returns to its nest on rainy days. Rainy days, you say? But you went and made the weather gods do! This doesn't bode well. Not at all! Thanks. We'll give it another shot. Save it, cats. All the better, meow. I... What's it for? <gasps> That's not a geoboard, is it? Bingo! I dug it out of some ruins, meow. They were made by Norman Meowney years ago for surfing along Earth pulses, but I can't use it, so I figured I'd pawn it off on someone else who could, meow. 
Wait, Norman made this? Don't be so mean! We're capable of exceptional things! And sometimes, when a Norman speaks their own name, the board springs to life! And whisks its masters away at top speed! They'll even plow right through weak demons! You can say it's our masterwork, even if we sort of stumbled on it by accident. Huh. Well, then I apologize. So we can ride this as long as we have Bianfu with us, right? Well, kind of. Do you have to use your true name to activate it? Not my true name, no. My Norman name. Wouldn't that just be Bienfu? No. Norman have a separate name that goes something like Norman so-and-so. It's almost more a title than a name. Often the name has something to do with what they're good at. Something like Attack, or Chain, or Aqua. Right. You could say names like Bienfu and Grimoire are more like stage names. I actually don't know Bienfu's Norman name, but I can't wait to find out. What is your name, Bienfu? Come on out with it. We're in a hurry. Norman Brave. Whoa, look at that! Wait, Bienfu. <laughs> Your Norman name is Brave? <laughs> that is so deliciously absurd! Why do you think I've never told you before, Bienfu? <laughs> At least the board works, Meow. And if we get on this board, it'll move us around? Well, about that. The board propels itself by pushing against Earth Pulse flows. To do that, the board needs information on the flows. But this one here's a completely blank slate, Meow. First, you need to find the Geo Trees in each area. They serve as a conduit between the surface land and the Earth Pulses, Meow. Once you've actually located a Geo Tree, you can record that area's Earth Pulse data into your Geo Board, Meow. Got it. This area's Geo Tree is right over there, Meow. All right then. So long as we find more Geo Trees, we'll be able to use the Geo Board to travel much more quickly. And just check out how much malevolence it's putting out. Which means it's not a Therian. Let's retreat. We've got no reason to pick a fight with something we can't handle. 
I do. Oh, you're up for it? What? What are you doing? She's right. Fighting this creature is a good way to end up dead. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, no turning back now. Damn it, this wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, but training like this doesn't come around every day. Be on your guard. One wrong move and you're done for. I know, that's the fun part. Okay. Yeah. This one definitely puts up a better fight than your average demon. Is there any hope of actually defeating this thing? I'll do whatever it takes. That's my way. Sabine! Oh. Oh. Yeah, I see you're out for blood, as usual. You knew, didn't you, Isaac? Out of my way. What? Are you protecting the dragon? She's not a dragon! Huh? Back off, or I'll make you back off. Damn, it got away. <sighs> that hurts, babe. And here, we hadn't seen each other in so long. Hold it. Is that dragon... someone you knew? I told you, she's not a dragon. <sighs> so, it seems old check out my pecs and the dragon have some kind of close ties. Did I hear you right? We're talking about a dragon here. I know what I said, but how could that be? When Malachim are tainted by malevolence, a dragon is what ultimately results. So you're saying that dragon was a Moloch Zavid once knew? She must be who he was praying for back in town. Yeah, most likely. But do Malachim put out malevolence like humans do? No. Not by themselves, they don't. But if one remains in contact with humans or demons who do, it will eventually taint her, and she will become a dragon. What about you, kiddo? You feel anything weird after you got thrown into the Earth Pulse at the Empyrean's throne? I did, yeah. Can't say I'm surprised. The air there was thick with malevolence being sent on its way to Enominat. If I'd stayed there, I might be a dragon too. Is having a vessel not enough to prevent a Moloch from transforming? A vessel can reduce the effect, but not eliminate it. By stripping their Molochim of consciousness, the Abbey Exorcists seem to be able to inhibit the transformation. But nothing in this world is guaranteed. Can a dragon ever be changed back into a Moloch? Nope. Just like with demons, there's no going back. Do they still hold on to some part of who they were? You saw that dragon. What do you think? Well, that's... But Zavid still won't kill it. Must be his creed at work. Aizen, listen. Whatever business you and Zavid have with that dragon, I don't care. Do what you have to. But I won't tolerate you getting the rest of us involved in it again. Do I make myself clear? You've got it. Good. Now, let's get back to the Therian hunt. If what Aizen said is true, then... Could I wind up as a dragon someday? Or Aizen too? I don't... I don't know.